Ah, finally time for a well-deserved day off. You can't take a day off, Brad. Who is that? Who's there? Wow, it's the Paxis 1750 PSI 1 1.6 gallon per minute pressure washer. What are you doing here? Letting you know if you don't make a video now that the other people who are making more oddly satisfying content than you more often are going to render you irrelevant, obsolete, and useless. Well, he does have a point there. I guess let's take a look at the project and we'll get to work. I don't know why I'm trying to always make the cheesiest intros, but you should expect it by now. <laughs> so, so big thanks to Paxis for sending this out for me to test. You know I always love getting equipment to try out. Also, a big thanks to my channel members, Knit You, C. Caparel, Nathan King Overland, B Dog BDH 2002 Gaming, Jackson LM Lawn Mowing. You guys have all been channel members for about three months now, so thank you for that. And then we've got the Marquis de Seignet and Darren. They've been channel members for a month. Thank you guys for being channel members. That money is being saved up so that we can try and find some more equipment that you guys want me to test. While it may seem like I'm always getting equipment to try out, uh, the reality is very few companies are willing to just go ahead and send whatever somebody asks for. So having some extra funds to save up for that we can put towards whatever you guys want me to review really helps out and it means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. You just saw me edge everything. You've got to edge if you're going to pressure wash. There's, there's no point going through all this work and leaving the grass around. Your pressure washer's just not going to be able to clean everything. Uh, and then using the Toro blower to blow everything off there. You can see just by edging, what a difference it makes and, and how it really opens up a lot more of that driveway. Now, as far as the Paxess pressure washer, this is one that doesn't have interchangeable nozzles. You can see it snaps together there and then you have one adjustable nozzle that clips in to the base there. If you pull down on this base, then you can pull it out. Otherwise, it's going to stay stuck in there. This is where the hose connector goes in. You just push in on that button and then you can slide the hose in. And of course, like any other pressure wash you've seen, you connect that to the front. And then you'll connect your water supply in the back end. One thing always to make sure is that you purge it. There's going to be a lot of air in the system. You want to do this before you turn it on for the first time so you can let all that air bleed out. You can see with the adjustable nozzle how you can either get a very fine mist or a really strong spray. Here you can see that's a, a really strong jet that it'll shoot out. Or you can have something a little bit wider, not as strong cleaning power, but it's going to be more than a pencil. So one of the reasons I'm doing this video is to see, can you pressure wash a driveway with what many would consider a very small, very inexpensive pressure washer? And uh, not to spoil the video, but the answer is yes. There will be a secret tip that'll take your job to the next level. Uh, in addition to pressure washing, something you can do after that'll make a big difference. But if you want something like this, if you've got 60 or 70 bucks and that's it, and you want a pressure washer, yes, you can get an electric pressure washer. You aren't going to have to do maintenance on it. You're not going to have to worry about fuel or oil or air filters or anything like that. Now, you've got to be realistic with it. It's going to take a very long time. Oh, here I'm getting cheeky with the, uh, the spray wand here. Uh, it's going to take a while, longer than like my 4,000 PSI, 4 gallon per minute Echo, but not everybody has, you know, $1,000 to spend on a pressure washer. So I think doing this with this Paxis is a, is a really good illustration that you don't need a very expensive machine to get the job done. There's also information and links and a discount code in the description if you are interested in this unit. But what I know people are going to say is, you should have got a surface cleaner, or why are you using that tiny little pressure washer? You, you need to get a... The point of these videos is not to do this job as efficiently as possible. If I cared about doing things efficiently, I wouldn't film myself doing anything, because that makes it all very inefficient. Uh, 
but this is just to test out products and to show you how things work and to answer the question, can a small pressure washer be enough for a homeowner? And I guess it depends on the homeowner, but I mean, this is a pretty big job that you see it take care of. So anyways, that's enough of me blabbing. I'll let you admire my pie chart skills. Let's just see if this works. So now I'm putting down sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach. This is actually a chlorinating liquid, which I wanna say has a 10 or a 15% strength solution, where something you might use for laundry has, you know, two and a half or five or seven, something a lot less. This does make a big difference. If we look at a before and after, this is about 15 or 20 minutes after that bleach is down. And you can see that a lot of those black spots have been taken care of by that bleach. So that's one way you can really stretch a small pressure washer like this. You can make your job go from good to great. Oh, good work, Paxess. I think we can finally take a break. You think it's safe to be breathing in this bleach? Oh no. What? Somebody just mowed eight foot tall grass for a single mom with three kids. Two of them are sick. The other one has a peg leg. They started four charities in her name and are gonna donate all the money to the mom. Oh, no rest for the weary.